Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're down here, I'm gonna say at one of the best places I have ever been to in my life. It's like golfing heaven. We're down here at the tight list at their Woburn facility. And I've just got fitted for the brand new GT range. Nearly gave away what driver um, I went for them. But we'll leave that to go and watch in a later video. But let me show you around this place. This is their performance center. Let's have a look at this. Come in through here. So this is actually sort of short. No one can really see in. Today they're fitting out here and that's where I got fitted. Let's go and have a look at the facility in here. And literally they have everything in here. Two fitting bays, which we're gonna to look to in a minute, but this is pretty cool on the screen. Welcome to Scottsdale and look, the performance center here at Woburn, tight list. Let's have a look at these bays right here. So you've got two humongous bays, which I don't think actually um, you can get a feel for the size of these unless I place the camera out here, right? You can get fitted here on this side and here on this side. This is where some guys will come with coaching. We've got force plates in the ground. I just realized I've still got my glove on for my fitting, but look how cool this is. And I'll be honest, this is not even the coolest part of this. Right over here, I've just been fitted for my driver in the GT range and fairway woods. And it actually has like a fairway you can swing and hit down to. You can see the bunker here on the left and the bunker here on the right. We use that as our fairway, but also you've got a short game area and a green. So what that means is if you're getting fitted for irons, wedges, you can literally come to any yard as you want and still hit into a green. So literally replicate the scenario you have out on the golf course. Obviously, if the weather's bad, you can go on that indoor area. But for me, on that tee, hitting off some tight turf was literally unreal. So look at this right here. We've got the fitting bay here inside. We've got the area where I just did my fitting and we've got all this grass range here, which if you look at this, I can come all the way to, well, as long as I could hit an iron, right? Look at all this fine turf right here, and we could stand here and hit irons down here, change into wind and hit back towards this fitting center. It is literally, I don't know how to say it. I can see why it's really exclusive and the fact that all the tour players, whether they're staff, tightly staffers or not, definitely want to come down here and get fitted. This is unreal. Like, I'm gonna put some shots here of my fitting Ooh. and literally look how cool really this good. is. Wheeling that truck out, and that's probably one of the coolest parts of it, if I'm being perfectly honest. So we've seen this outdoor area right here, but let's dive back inside. And then you also have a workshop right here where clubs can be built, they can be ground down, we can do the swing weight, everything can be done in here. So, whether you're a tour player or not, you can leave here with your clubs absolutely fine-tuned. And then, I should have also mentioned, you get picked up and brought over here in a tightless branded, I'm gonna say like, four by four buggy. Wait here in the chill out area. Look at the cool bays, screen can come down, it can go up. And if you're lucky enough to get the weather like it is here today, you can, well, what can I say? go outside on this fitting truck. And let me just show you a few of the pieces they've got here on the tour truck. It is looking, uh, well, I'll say tour truck, like sort of tour van. I like the look, you can see there's white lines on either side, like. It's a lot duller than I was expecting actually in sound. Okay. Good flight. A little bit healy that, if I'm honest. But didn't sort of like spin like it was really healy. So what's your, um, what are your numbers? Because obviously we would so, normally do. Yeah, I mean, roughly if I, I, for me, ball speed, anything from like 158 to sort of 162 is like when I'm warmed up and going, I'm happy around there. Okay, so this is your first? First hit, yeah. Have you seen the number? Now, right now, you're probably wondering why can't we see any of the numbers from the GT range in terms of ball speed, club head speed, and what distance are we getting? Well, that's for a future video. Right now, we can show you first impressions 
and show you around this unbelievable facility. But from what you've seen of the driver here on this video so far, and what you've seen of the driver on social media, what are your thoughts of it? Do you like the look? Are you excited to see what Titleist have done with it? Let's get back to some hits. That was more at the middle. Oh, that was really good, in fact. Oh, a little toey. Oh, that sounded very different. Oh, that was it, really good. Good ball there. Wow. That felt like it was in the air for quite a while. Good ball. That was really good. I do feel like I can't hit that left. Look at them. Oh, 0.5 off. Ah! Do you feel more comfortable with that setup? Do you feel like it's hard work? In terms of the shaft? Well, just as a, as a, a whole thing, like... Do I don't know, it's sort of catch away too. I feel like I can hit it harder. <laughs> so you feel more comfortable with it yeah. in the sense that you could go after it a yeah. bit more if you wanted to and it will still perform? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Nice. Wow. That's got one of the longest yet, hasn't it? Great drive. Well, that's got to be one of the longest, I'd say. That's oh. really good. Whoa! So yeah, thanks so much for watching my walkthrough here of the Titleist facility here down at Woburn. What a place.